Your Grace, Honorable Jehoki, uh, Reverend Fathers, uh, distinguished guests and friends. Um, and also, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owner of this land, Garigai people. And traditional, I mentioned to you, is very important for me. That's why I do my signature time and place series of the photos. As uh, being an Armenian from Istanbul, and I'm just very interested in history. I got a background in philosophy, as uh, Stefan kindly mentioned. And I just want to just get a bit of insight about Armenian history. And I've been asked to do little talk. Uh, people who know me, is, uh, they know it's impossible for me to little talk, but I'm going to try my heart, hardest to just talk little to this time. And I just want to tell a little bit of story about myself. And uh, my originally, I'm from Ekin uh, in uh, Eastern Turkey, Western Armenia. And that's why um, I'm just very connected to that area. I've been in that region many, many times, four times in fact. And I take photos and I just want to deliver some of the images to you and create this bridge between that area and yourself. I hope you'll enjoy. And uh, ironically, I choose this photograph uh, of uh, pomegranate. Pomegranate is like symbol of Armenians. And, and also like uh, it shows that actually a uh, little bit of our history that as well, we just shattered all around the world like pomegranate as well. And for example, uh, I'm actually my, I have cousins in Australia, Germany, Canada, second cousins in South America, France, and uh, and uh, USA as well. I just want to start the photos with this very image. This photo taken in uh, Abadana in Persepolis. These people are uh, uh, tribute bearers, and these people are Armenians. This is two and a half thousand years old uh, bas relief. And it shows that actually our name exists in the, the, all this time. And the first mention of Armenian names in, again in Iran between Greek trade road between Hamadan and uh, Hamadan and uh, Kermanshah, uh, there is visited in scripts. Uh, first time his Armenian name is mentioned there as well. In Darius versus uh, Darius the Great uh, versus actually like Talis. And this is actually before uh, being called Armenian. We are Urartians. This is Urartian castle in Van. Today is uh, Eastern Turkey, and this castle called Tushba. Uh, Urartians uh, sovereigned that area for uh, three, uh, four century, nine century BC to six century BC, and this this place is called Tushba. And another very well known site is in today's Armenia, Yerebuni. That's Urartian site as well. And this is the where they live. Uh, Armenians are one of the most important sector for Armenian. Uh, Hardship, if you like. This is Lake Ban. Lake Ban is one of the most important uh, Armenian centers. And in, during the Urartian time, they called Biennale. And uh, the three big tribes, uh, Nairis, Armens, and Hikes, uh, comprise this big uh, fake confederation. Today, that very name is naming our children. <coughs> there are three big mountains around the Lake Ban. Uh, this is Mount Sipan. And there is another one, is like a, just so this one is Mount uh, Artos, and another one is Mount, uh, Mount uh, Nebut. These, these mountains are very important, show that actually we as an Armenian how important the mountain regions for us, like we are mountain people. And there are uh, three islands, three islands in the lake uh, with the beautiful monasteries. And this is Ahtamar Island. And Atamar Island, also the other ones are Lim Island and uh, Guduns Island. They have a beautiful uh, monasteries as well. And this is Holy Cross Church uh, from Atamar Island. And very unique building, built in the nine, 921, by, uh, uh, commissioned by the Gagik I. It's like Vasporakan King. And very unique for uh, its bas reliefs on the, the, on the wall. You can see that one, that photo is for an option there. And you can see causally and also some of the exhibition photos, you can see how important, uh, how beautiful the uh, features look. And this is our, now I uh, make you travel to Ani. And Ani is one of the most significant sites. And this photo is one of my favorite, personal favorite, because it shows that actually my history, Armenian history, how important it is that Half of them is this, uh, this destroyed and the still magnificent staying there. 
Ali is the big city with 100,000 people in 10th century. Uh, this is the mother cathedral of Ali, and uh, built in uh, 1001. It used to be hailed as a uh, city of 1001 churches, and they have 40 gates. It's rival to Constantinople, Damascus, uh, and Baghdad in that time in the Middle Eastern region. And now is actually, I'm going to take you to Iran for this photograph. This is Santeru's uh, monastery in the Western Azerbaijan region of Iran. This is one of the uh, UNESCO heritage site places I just uh, went to visit, especially I went to Iran for this church and there is another one as well. And this is St. Tadeus, and there is another one that's 60, 70 kilometers away from here is St. Bartolomeo uh, Monasteries. They bought uh, Jesus' disciples, and they are Armenian disciples of uh, Christian faith. And Christianity entered this area uh, in Armenia in 301, and as an official state religion. This is 12 years before Romans tolerate, um, tolerate Christians. And 79 years before Romans become state religion as well in that sort of area. And St. is actually like uh, sent there by Abgar V uh, and the Prince of Elisa. And it's like uh, this why we are a Christian nation today. And uh, Stefan mentioned that actually we are great uh, uh, traders in Isfahan. This is taking Isfahan, uh, this is a bank monastery. Wang Monastery is actually one of the most beautiful churches you can ever find in Iran. There are 13 of the operating churches, and this is actually magnificent. All gold leaves painted. It's a significant place for uh, uh, Armenian culture. And I'm going to conclude this uh, my uh, talk with this very photo. This is Sasun in the eastern Turkey. There are a number of uh, municipalities that are actually governed by uh, Armenians. Sasun was one of them. The other one was uh, near Vanis Shatak. Uh, near, uh, near Martin there is Derek. Uh, near Antep is Sabur. And Tomarza near Kayseri. Hunas near Erzurum. And uh, uh, Charpakchur near, uh, near uh, Bingol. And I went these places, many of them I went and stayed with these places in these Kurdish villages mainly. I stayed with them. And two um, common uh, phrases I just learned from them as an Armenian. In Sasun, they say, uh, if something doesn't go right, they say, of course, his, ar his architect was an Armenian. You know, like, that's a very good phrase I learned there. And another uh, Kurdish village I went, there's an Ar Armenian municipality, is uh, Chatak. It's like Chatak is uh, mountains of Ban region. And they say, if someone is actually very worthy, very nice person, they call him uh, Sorry? The <laughs> Hovik, Ho, uh, Hovik's uh, grandchild. You know, Hovik was actually like the last mayor of the, uh, that region before 1915. And what I like to conclude my images there, and I take the tour recently to Eastern Turkey, and uh, one of my very uh, dear friends, uh, he's, uh, he's actually a surgeon, and he said to me, you have to be ambassador to Armenia, he said to me. I said, we all do our share for being Armenian, and this is what I ambassadorship for all Armenians, belong all Armenians. And I would like to take that actually, uh, this one I have to read. The OCS Council of uh, Armenian Church for hosting this event and letting me talk. Thank you very much. I hope it wasn't very boring, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, uh.